prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Let's review parts of the cell theory that you learned in seventh grade. The first part of cell theory says, the cell is the smallest unit in all organisms. The second part of cell theory says that all living things are made of cells. And the third part of cell theory says that all cells come from other pre-existing cells. All cells are grouped into two main categories. They can be either prokaryotic or they can be eukaryotic. We're going to discuss similarities and differences between these two categories today. Let's watch a short video that describes the similarities and differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells do have a lot in common. Both have DNA. That's critical because DNA is the cell's genetic material. Both prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells have ribosomes, which are small organelles, an organelle being like a tiny organ. The ribosomes have the important job of making proteins. Gotta make protein. Both cells have cytoplasm, the jelly fluid within cells. Both of them have a cell membrane, also known as a plasma membrane, which is critical because it controls what goes in and out of the cell and therefore maintaining homeostasis. All cells have a cell membrane. Now, as for cell walls, most prokaryotic cells have cell walls. Many eukaryotic cells, plant cells and fungal cells, for example, can have cell walls. But there are plenty of eukaryotic cells that don't have cell walls, such as animal cells. What makes prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells different is especially interesting. Eukaryotic cells are more complex than prokaryotic cells. They tend to be larger than most prokaryotic cells. And to help me remember some more differences in this next part, I like to remember that pro in prokaryote rhymes with no, and you in eukaryote rhymes with do. Prokaryotic cells have no nucleus to contain their DNA. So you will find their DNA is not contained within a nucleus. It's a bit messy here. They have no membrane-bound organelles. Membrane-bound organelles are fancy organelles that have their own membrane, like the nucleus, mitochondria, the endoplasmic reticulum, and the Golgi apparatus. A big indicator of eukaryotic cells is this nucleus. Eukaryotic cells do have a nucleus to contain their DNA. Depending on what type of... Let's recap. The similarities between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells have DNA that carry genetic material. Both have a cell membrane that controls what goes in and out of the cell. Both have ribosomes that make proteins. Both have a cytoplasm, the jelly fluid inside of the cell. And some prokaryotic have a cell wall and some eukaryotics have a cell wall. Some don't. Let's look at the differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. These are important to remember. Prokaryotic cells are less complex and smaller in size. Eukaryotic cells are more complex and larger in size. Prokaryotic cells have no membrane-bound organelles, while eukaryotic cells do have membrane-bound organelles. The biggest thing that we need to remember is that pro is no. Prokaryotic cells have no nucleus. That means the genetic material in the DNA is just free-floating in the cell. Prokaryotic cells have no nucleus. U means do. Eukaryotic cells do have a nucleus, and that nucleus holds all of the genetic material inside of the DNA. This is the biggest difference that you need to remember. Prokaryotic does not have a nucleus. Eukaryotic does have a nucleus. Want a copy of these notes? Go to our class teams, click on the files tab, click on the week five folder, and open the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells notes.